All right, everybody. Happy Monday. I am so glad to be talking to each of you uh, again. Um, just a real quick uh, head of the week reminder video to keep us all on the same page. Uh, those of you with college classes, first of all, remember your classes are like wrapping up this week. So prioritize getting all of that work done. I believe in you. You can take care of it. All right. Um, number two is, uh, remember that I have office hours every day, Monday through Friday, um, 12 till two. And if you can't make 12 till two because you're working or you're sleeping or whatever, um, reach out to me and I can meet with you at a different time. You are expected to join those office hours once per week. It really lets me kind of keep up with where you're at and make sure that there are no misconceptions. And if you're struggling, it kind of helps me work out with you what we can do to improve things. All right, so please uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Um, I'm, I'm sitting there. I just I end up spending a couple of hours just sort of sitting right now, and I'd much rather spend that time talking to each and every one of you. Um, as for the actual week, we are pretty much steady as she goes. Uh, things are changing a little bit. If you watch my videos from last week, which you should have done, um, we've cut that student-led discussion. It is gone. Don't worry about it. You just have your teacher-led discussion. And instead of having to do two questions, you only have to do one question. Um, that's to balance out the addition of an article. And then if you're in my English one, there's also a quote analysis that you have to do. Um, oh, never mind. It's for both of you guys. There's an article and a quote analysis that each of you will be doing in addition to what we normally do. Um, those grades do go in power school. Those grades grades, um, pass, complete, fail, uh, do matter. So make sure you're getting all of the stuff done for the week. Um, your post reading also shows up in power school. So if you're one of those people that is kind of like cherry picking which things each week you're going to do, I'm sorry, pretty much this whole week is locked in for what you've got to do. Um, I do want to call your attention to the uh, weekly project for this week. Um, this week's weekly project and next week's weekly project uh, are, go in tandem. Um, this week you are planning an essay. Next week you are writing the essay. Um, the more work you do this week, the easier it will be next week. Because if you remember from the beginning of our, our semester together, if you've got an outline for your writing, all you have to do is fill in the spaces when you go to actually write the essay. If you don't have an outline, you've got to write the whole thing. It will be weaker. It will not make as much sense. It will be a lot harder to do. So take the time this week to plan out your essay. And it's going to make next week and the week after that a lot easier. Um, I also know that some of you are dealing with college classes. And so I'm not making you write an essay in one week. How nice is that? Um, I do want you to read that over before you start your reading for the week because it will help you with selecting quotes. You, If you have an idea of where you're going for your essay, then it'll be a lot easier if you're reading go, oh, that's a good quote. Go ahead and write it down. You've got it. And that saves you a lot of time. Um, also, you'll notice when you look at your essay planning that whether you're in English 1 or English 3, you are given a collection of prompts. You're allowed to pick one of those or pitch your own. If you've got an idea for something you want to talk about and you want to do that instead. Now, you may know you want to talk about something but not really know what your prompt's going to be yet, what your actual like thesis is going to be. That's a great thing to bring to me in either uh, office hours or through a, one of our different modes of communication. If, if you're like, I really want to talk about this in Great Gatsby, but you didn't mention it and I don't know how to put it together, that's what I'm here for. We can do that. Um, but make sure you run by any um, prompts or, or ideas you have before you start really diving into that writing because I want to make sure that what you're asking is like an, a defensible, arguable like thing to write about and not just stating fact because we want to try to avoid stating fact we can turn that into an argument we just we'll need to work together to get that taken care of um that's the big thing that i'm, I'm really looking for or from you guys this uh this week so please look that over please check everything please reach out to me if you have any questions um the semester is coming to an end and we want to make sure that we end strong so 
That's it for me. I miss all you guys. I love all you guys. I'm looking forward to hearing each and every one of you shortly. Um, stay safe and I will talk to you soon.